hear the ladies shrieking, and that's because T-City is making his way to the Octagon, the former title challenger, Brian Ortega. And a lot of people, DC, do believe for this jiu-jitsu practitioner, his ceiling is championship, and eventually he'll get it. Yes, yes, the ladies go crazy for T-City. Even his video game character is the best-looking guy out here. Brian Ortega is a jiu-jitsu guy. But as you saw in the Frankie Edgar fight, he has now developed striking to match. That was a massive uppercut that caught a guy that had never been finished before. So as long as he continues to improve, John, he will realize a UFC championship before it's all said and done. All class outside the octagon with his Brian Ortega foundation, but T-City has got his eyes fixed on the prize. Title eliminator of sorts here, too. just about to get underway. All right, here we go, early portions of this round with Brian T. City Ortega, and it would seem to me, Daniel, path of least resistance, take this fight to the ground and find a choke. But if you talk to Brian Ortega, not unlike a lot of our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts, this man has fallen in love with his hands. He wants to strike tonight. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Just missed with the left there. All right, early round action here. All eyes are on T-City. Brian Ortega, we know how dangerous he is on the floor, but how about the striking tonight? I mean, he's gotten so much better. It was during the time away where Brian Ortega developed a great jab from the southpaw position, using his power hand out in front and just really thumping you with that front hand. Brian Ortega is a great grappler, but he now has the stand-up skills to match, and that's going to make him even more successful as he goes forward. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, separation of the clinch. Midway through round one. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. There's that left hand. He lands the right hand there. Checks the leg kick. Ortega going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Unable to connect there. So just over 20 total strikes. And counting him now. Oh! Oh! Oh, big knee there. Oh, nice. 
there again. Nice punch by him there in the clinch. The book on him is that when he gets in these clinch situations, he's not looking to take a breather. He is not resting. He is going to work. The night is just beginning when he gets into the clinch. Under a minute to go. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Misses are entertaining. <laughs> Quick jab. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Shot blocked there by T City, Brian Ortega. Fast jab lands. Ortega's eye starting to swell now. Let's go. Get on first Oh, nice inside low kick. Yeah. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Don't shoot the tip here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get back. Spot here, triangle choke is locked in. Oh, great submission defense. Well, he's got his back now. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, 
got to think he's going to try to get him out of here on this next one. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Block that strike. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. Action right there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. And when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Darce choke again by DC. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out fantastic. Submission D, and he is back up to his feet. T City going for the takedown, but unable to land. The next one, beautiful jab. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Both are prepared. These are the types of fights that we expect. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really... Oh, what a land right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. Hey, that down. uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times. Durability of the guy standing in front of him. Right there, his opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big up with cut. 30 seconds to go. The round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth yeah. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Oh! Well, it's been a while 
fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money in fight 10. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went full. And now he's attempted to choke. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. How in the world did he escape that submission? And he's back up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Ortega's shot is blocked. All right, relax, everybody. Good. You're doing fine. Stay. Oh, oh my goodness. No judges needed this time around. Unbelievable by Brian Ortega. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brian T. City Ortega. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into Amen. existence. He said over and over to Everybody anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this, this man out. Back. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.